calling the February February 7th, 2022 Town Council meeting to order. Thank you for coming. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Sue, would you do the roll, please? Jonathan Ramsey, Marianne Rosa. Here. Kim Demers. Here. Robert DeSena. Here. Anthony DeBona. Here. Gary Lafferty. Here. Robert Ritali. Here. Denise Russ. Here. Rachel Lyon. Here. Next on the agenda is public comment. Is there anyone that would like to comment? No comments this evening, so we'll move on. Is there a motion for the minutes? All right, we have a motion and a second, but I believe the date is the 18th, not the 20th. It's, I think it's an error on the... January 18th. Right. We have a motion and a second for the January 18th minutes. Second. Are there any corrections? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed or abstaining? I'm, I'm going to abstain. abstain. I also One, abstain. One, two. Do you have that, Sue? Is it three? Or Raise two? your hand again if you're abstaining. Oh, two. Okay. Thank you. Motion passes. Uh, we move on to the chair's comments. Um, under correspondence, we received a communication from Eversource that they are going to be doing uh, tree trimming and uh, cleanup in the area, various areas of Oakville. Also, I wanted to bring to uh, everyone's attention the agenda items for our budget. Very nicely, the uh, town administration has scheduled all of them but one on a regular meeting night. So that means we only have to come out one night outside of our regular meetings. And um, that one's at the end of March. So uh, those are important meetings. Everybody should try and make those so that we're ready to uh, address the whole budget at the last meeting. Town manager's report, if you would, please. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman, members of the town council. Uh, just to bring an update on COVID caseload for Watertown has significantly decreased as we had anticipated. Uh, we're down around the 15% on that 100,000 uh, person uh, percentage rate. Uh, it, it appears as though the Omicron variant has peaked and as we anticipate it. We're going to rescind the mask mandate for town buildings on February 14th. Uh, we will resume that employees that have proven vaccination will be allowed to be in town buildings unmasked and unvaccinated employees and outside visitors. We're still going to keep having those people uh, mask up. Uh, as we move on, if we continue to reduce the rate, uh, we'll do away with all masks wearing in town. So now the only ones that have to wear a mask are unvaccinated people. Unvaccinated and visitors to the building. So that, we're gonna go back to the, the way it was. Any employee who is vaccinated will not have to wear a mask. But all visitors will. Correct. Okay. Uh, Sealy mattress sale was consummated and the town received approximately $2,500 in conveyance fee. Uh, we're continuing through the budget process. We've completed the first rounds and most of the second rounds. I'm anticipating to finish up second budget round meetings with department heads this week. Uh, the highway department um, are conducting experience with specific plow runs, evaluating the use of straight salt. They're going through their runs um, and basically trying to evaluate if we should go over to a switch over to complete salt uh, to maintain our roadways. Uh, once they make their evaluations, uh, the superintendent will make his recommendations and we'll move forward, hopefully reducing our costs and clean up at the end of the year by going to straight salt. Just a couple more updates. Uh, FEMA 
and the Department of Homeland Security, our Federal Emergency Management Agency um, has approved the mitig mitigation division for the Nugtuck Valley Council of Governments. So that's the hazardous, hazardous mitigation plan that we had talked about applying for. So basically from January 2022 to January 19, 2027, Watertown will be eligible to apply for these funds on a, in a competitive basis. And I believe that's it for me tonight. Thank you. Move on to new business on the agenda. If you would uh, read the item with regard to Adam. Sure. sure. <clears throat> I move to add to the agenda, consider appointment of Naugatuck Valley Council of Governments representative and alternate alternates. I move to appoint Jonathan Ramsey as the town of Watertown representative to the Naugatuck Valley Council of Governments and Mark A. Ramo as the alternate. Is there a second? Second. We have a dual motion there you'll notice. Number one, to appoint the representative and the alternate and we've named them. Does anyone have any questions? We're adding this at the last minute because there is a meeting coming up before our next meeting. So we had to get it on tonight's agenda, just so you know. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item A on the agenda. Sure. I move to approve the appropriation from the general fund in the amount of $25,953.99 for police overtime for the Watertown Coronavirus Relief Fund Program. Is there a second? Yeah, Anyone have any questions? Seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed or abstain? The motion passes unanimously. I move to approve an appropriation from the general fund in the amount of $1,736.28 for police overtime for services provided to the FBI grant task force. Is there a second? Second. Any questions? Yeah, what's, what's yes. this about? I'll have the chief comment or answer your question. Good evening, Josh Berniger, police chief. Uh, we have one of our detectives assigned to a task force that's run by the FBI and in agreement with the FBI, all of that officers overtime on the task force is reimbursed to the town through the FBI. Anyone else have a question? Thank you, chief. All those in favor, please say aye. Uh, aye. aye. Anyone opposed or abstaining? Hearing none, the motion passes unanimously. I move to approve an appropriation from the general fund in the amount of $50 to the Watertown Animal Control Veterinarian account. Is there a second? Any questions or comments? <clears throat> Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed or abstain? The motion passes unanimously. I move to approve an appropriation from the general fund in the amount of $40,000 for sand and salt due to extensive weather related events. Is there a second? Second. Does anyone have a question? Yes. Will that get us? I know you said it would get us through, but is that? going to really be enough between now and I'm going to say the end of March because normally by then we get into weather hopefully. <clears throat> so good evening Lou Spina, Director of Public Works. Um, I hope it does. Um, if the weather cooperates we're sitting at February 7th and uh, you know as the calendar goes we got about six and a half or seven more weeks of winter. Um, February can be an active month. Um, the next seven days does look favorable, but uh, it could change quickly. Um, about two weeks ago, when I put this memo together, Bob did order the last uh, amount that we had money for, and we um, satisfied the 1500 ton commitment that we 
buy you off the state bid. Um, we throw out a couple hundred tons per storm and we went out this morning and treated the roads. Um, so we used about 175 tons of it this morning. To date, we've gone out about 21 times. And to answer your question, um, I'm optimistic that if we get this, it'll give us enough to cover probably four to six more storms. And uh, with cooperation, we will get there. Um, and if it if the weather does get really quiet and we don't use it, it won't go bad. We can use it, you know, next fall into the early part of the winter. Do we have enough sand and salt for a few more storms or are we down to the bottom? Today, today we as we sit here today, we have enough sand and salt for two to three storms. And this will give us the ability to, to be protected for four to six more beyond that. Thank you. Anyone else? <clears throat> I'd just like to comment that I think the guys do a terrific job. Thank you. I Great appreciate department. that. Thank you. I will share it with them. And um, I agree. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time and I'm very satisfied with what I've been seeing out there. But I'll be more than happy to share that with you. And I'm sure they'll appreciate please the do. feedback. Thank you. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you for the information. I move to approve a bid waiver for the extension of a previous bid through 2023 for materials, materials testing to be performed by New England Materials Testing Lab, LLC. Is there a second? second. Anyone have a question? Yes. I, excuse me, I read the everything, but there is no price what they paid last year and there's no price saying what they are going to do if we don't have a if we vote on this tonight so i i don't know anything about you know anything is do we have a, a figure for what they're charging us now so we have at least a number i don't have that figure to give you uh <clears throat> this is a bid waiver it's not to approve a price yeah, but if we do the bid waiver, they'll get the, the job. They'll get the same the right. same price we, we approved previously. Right, but we don't know what that price is. I'm sitting here, I'm sorry, I do not. Okay. I, I apologize, I do not. Um, th this was bid a couple of years ago. It was a two-year contract. This company comes in uh, when we do road resurfacing, road paving. They check the density, um, you know, the aggregate material, the temperature, and the depth. Um, so it, it, there's, uh, you know, different prices they charge, but they did hold. They were the low bidder two years ago, and they did agree to honor that that bid for two more years if we were interested. So, that would be my recommendation to extend it. Anyone else have a question? Hearing none. All those that are in favor, please say aye. 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 <clears throat> Anyone opposed? I'm going to be opposed only because I don't have a total price and okay. I'm not comfortable voting on it without knowing the price. Okay. <clears throat> One in opposition, but the motion passes. Thank you. I move to approve the resolution authorizing an appropriation from the general fund in the amount of 2900 $90.49 for tax refunds. Is there a second? Second. Any questions or comments? <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I just need to understand. So we, we voted back tax refunds in December and January in this month, and everything comes to a total of $31,197.87. That's an awful lot of tax refunds. And I can someone tell me why we're thank you, so you're right. Um, good evening, everyone. The tax refunds is money that we've re already received from people, and we now are giving it back. So it's not like it's money out of the town's pocket. We received the money from them and we're refunding it, whether they sold their home, they sold their car, and there was an um like I prorated that should have taken place. So it's not that we're paying this money out, it's just a refund of money that the people paid us. 
Yes, that I understand, but uh -huh. how do they get to have so much money of overage? I mean, we pay our taxes, uh -huh. it's that amount. There's a lot of moving pieces of people, like I said, buying and selling homes and their vehicles where it's a constant, every month the tax collector has to reevaluate and see who we owe money back to. So this is something that I'm sure the other council members are this, aware this we ongoing. do this every month, um, sometimes every meeting depending on how much she has to return. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed or abstaining? Motion passes unanimously. I move to approve the resolution authorizing the tax refunds. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item nine. <clears throat> I move to enter into executive session for the purposes of discussing discussion of the sale of the town property located at 37 DeForest Street, the old town hall. Attending the executive session will be town council members present along with the town manager. Second. Go into the uh, adjoining room back here. Yeah. Yeah. Time we will. It came to my understanding during the time that we were out of uh, regular session that our agenda had been posted with the ability to communicate um, virtually. And I understand that Mrs. Kamara would like to communicate with us. Are you still? Um, listening. Yes, I am. Thank you. Okay. So it's Catherine Camera, 31 Cottage Place in Oakville. Um, unfortunately for you tonight, I'm, I'm not going to criticize any of you. I know that probably surprises you. Um, my criticism is towards our town times because we suffered a local tragedy recently, about a month ago. It took the life of one of our residents and left two of our families without a home. It was a fire down on Main Street in Oakville. So um, I consider it two tragedies. The first is the fire, and the second is the fact that our local paper has not said one thing about this fire. And um, there were GoFundMe, uh, site set up for both the families um, who are survivors and for the son of the deceased uh, resident. Um, I know there was a lot of it in the Waterbury paper. I know there was a lot of it on um, website, uh, Facebook, but the fact is that there are people who don't read the Waterbury paper um, at all. They don't read it every day. They don't subscribe to it every day. They may miss the article. Um, this is our local paper. This is local news. And I happen to live almost uh, just, just almost a year to, to the time of the fire we just had was the fire on Buckingham Street right near me. I know that made the paper uh, very clearly. So, um, you know, the, the mission statement that you have all voted for, or most of you voted for, says that our citizens are valued. I mean, I'm not arguing with you, but can you reach out to our local paper as members of our government and, and ask them how they could not um, reach out to our community to help us join as a community around these people who, who, who suffered tragedy? I mean, it's, it's, that's a God awful thing to have happen. And I can't for the life of me understand how, um, one fire gets makes the paper and, and another one doesn't. And in this situation, it's two families without a home and somebody died. So it's to me twice as bad, if not more so than, than the last time. I mean, they're all bad. I'm not gonna judge whose is worse, but it, this was terrible. So what I'm asking of you as council members is to reach out to our the editor of our local paper and, and let them know they need to do a better job covering something that's so tragic in our um, 
town. It, 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 it mandates that I, I can't even, I couldn't even fathom it. The first week I thought, okay, you know, I don't know what happened. They didn't report it. The second week I was shocked. I sent an email, nobody responded and said, you know, why aren't, why aren't you reporting on this? So um, for the sake of the families and the deceased, um, it would be nice that something was put in our local paper. And I would hope that you as our governing body could, could maybe, you know, nudge them a little talk to them a little about that. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Uh, we will go on to, I believe, I believe we have a motion to postpone action. <clears throat> I'll make a motion that we table item 10 under new business. Is there a second? Second. Any comments? All those in favor of tabling the motion, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Anyone abstaining? The motion passes unanimously. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Second. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 aye.